Hello, hello, welcome back, welcome to another vlog. I think I'm going to attempt a weekly vlog with this one because there's a few different bits and pieces happening. I think if you watched the last vlog you will have seen me talking about how I was hermiting myself because I had a big scary deadline to meet. Pleased to report that the deadline has been met and I'm very happy about it. So I'm trying to give my body and brain a little bit of space and time to recover, which you think would be easier than actually doing the thing, but it is something that I've always struggled with actually. Sometimes one of the only ways to stop myself from launching into something new is to actually make plans that are gonna get me out around people or out of the house, hence this weekly vlog. <laughs> So I suppose that was a really long-winded way of saying it's Saturday today and I'm just about to set off to Knaresborough. It's a beautiful little place in North Yorkshire if you haven't been before. Um, Izzy and I are still very much in our day trip era so I'm looking forward to that. We've got a few things, well no we've actually not got anything planned um, but it should be nice and the weather's looking beautiful as well. I will say that Knaresborough isn't the most wheelchair accessible place in the world, it's a struggle but in my opinion it is worth persevering with it if you can. I am taking Janice the power chair today so may the odds be in our favour. <laughs> oh I sat downstairs in my wheelchair all ready to go all sorted and then my phone buzzes and I know without looking at it that it'll be easy saying the train is cancelled and the train is cancelled so that's not the best start. We are going to get the next one which is half an hour later so it's a weird length of time where you can't really do anything in between so I've put the wheelchair away again and I've come back upstairs and I'll just I don't know I'll just have a bonus lay down I suppose and then we'll try again. <laughs> So when I finally set off, I got the bus to the station where I met Izzy. The person doing my passenger assistance today was really grumpy. They're usually either really lovely or really grumpy. There doesn't seem to be an in-between. But when we got there, we headed straight to Scarlett's Vintage Tea Room. Now the premises aren't accessible, but they do have outside tables. It's absolutely gorgeous and it's all vegetarian. The menu is great. So we had some breakfast sandwiches. Um, yeah, we did. And look, even the teapots are really cute. It's just such a beautiful setup and the staff were really lovely as well. We had a quick wander around a few shops and then we headed to the castle gardens. The castle itself you have to pay to get in and I've heard it's not the most accessible but the gardens are really lovely just to spend time in and they give you this gorgeous gorgeous view over Knaresborough. Look at that with all the boats on the river. So after we did a little bit more wandering we decided to head down there to spend some time there ourselves. Listen, we're very seriously debating whether we should get on. What are they? Are they canoes? They're paddle boats. Paddle boats. I'm very seriously debating, but I think what you should know about me and Izzy is that once, when was it? 2013? Yeah, I think you're right about that. Do you remember this? I 2013, do. we went to Centre Park, we were about 18 years old, we got in a pedlo and we got so fed up and irritated by the pedlo that we just left it in the middle of the lake we just we crashed it into the side we climbed up off it onto the bank left the boat there and the poor like volunteer coast guard for the lake had to go and get the pedal the box <laughs> so as idyllic as it looks right now i just can't imagine it going the same way if we did it <laughs> pyjamas on before I remembered I'm supposed to be vlogging although goodness knows I've not been great at that today. We were in one of those sort of situations where you're so busy talking that you don't pay that much attention to where you are or where you're going so I swear we've just been doing circles most of the day but had a really lovely day, amazing weather, Knaresborough is so beautiful at this time of year and it was just lovely to see everyone just out and just that cumulative good mood that comes about when the sunshine starts to come out for the year so it's been really lovely I'm very ready for a rest now so probably pick this back up tomorrow or Monday and I'll see you then don't mind me just sat on the floor I'm just packing up some bits I had to miss yesterday had a very much needed recovery day I was absolutely shattered but today's Monday and I'm just getting ready to head home for a night I'm gonna go and see my mum see the dog I think one of the most difficult things we've found about having Ruby is that because I live by myself and my mum lives by herself there are certain things that are much harder when you don't have another person there who can 
supervise the dog for want of a better word so even though i'm only going for a night i'm going to try and help out a little bit it's a beautiful day it's bank holiday monday and normally my train to sheffield is like 45 minutes to an hour the trains today are wild there's no extra stops i think they just must all be going slower it's gonna take so long but get it done with there's actually nothing else i need to do today i am trying and mostly succeeded at not doing work. This shouldn't feel like an accomplishment, but it does. And I can't wait to cuddle my puppy. <laughs> Your gorgeous face. Oh, big yawn. <laughs> Oh my goodness, I'm not doing a very good job of vlogging this week. I'm absolutely shattered. I was fast asleep when my alarm went off this morning, but we're coming up to lunchtime and I've got most of the jobs I wanted to do, got them done. I have a little fluffy baby on my knee. I appreciate you can't see her face very well right now, but if you watch my vlog of Ruby coming home, you might not be able to believe how different she looks. Like I said in that video, she didn't have the easiest start in life. She had a lot of injuries and she's needed a lot of care, but her fur has grown back really beautifully, especially on her face. Most of her wounds have healed really, really well and she's been such a good girl. She is 16 weeks today now and oh, she's just the best. She's the most beautiful girl, aren't you gorgeous? She's quite chilled out and tired right now, but if I have time later and if she feels up to it, I might show you some of the tricks we've been teaching her. The only thing is that she couldn't have her jabs when she was supposed to because of the medication she was on. So her jabs have been delayed, meaning that she can't go outside for walks yet. And that's probably been the most difficult thing because you can tell she's ready, but there's not long to go now at all. I think only another week or so. She's, it's funny because she's grown so much, so to me she's really big, but objectively she's still absolutely tiny. Um, you can't really get a good perspective of scale, but yeah. Oh, she's just the most gorgeous little thing. She's the best. I have also just found out that I'm going to Birmingham on Thursday for work, so two days from now. So while this little one is having a well-deserved snooze after a very tiring morning of being a precious little baby. I'm going to try and sort the arrangements out and book my train tickets. I'm looking forward to it. It should be really good. Ruby, high five. Good girl. Ruby sits. Ruby, jump. One, two, three, four. Ruby, spin. Ruby, spin. Spin. Sit. Paw. Paw. <laughs> end up being the scattiest vlog ever because I do have to keep stopping and having rest breaks but had a nice day today got a lot done and I'm back in my flat now so I'll have at least one rest day before I set off on Thursday just wanted to bring you a very important PSA if like me you have been deeply and profoundly affected by Oatly stopping doing their chocolate ice cream um solidarity my heart goes out to you it's been a difficult time for us all especially because i can't find a good replacement that's suitable for people with nut allergies and i do take my research very seriously so you can trust me on that front but the best one i've found so far is the morrison's one it's morrison's planet revolution um go go chocolate cookie dough it's not it's not as good but is anything ever going to be as good as the oatly one but it is quite nice and i am enjoying it so I am going to make myself a cup of decaf tea, have some ice cream, watch Britain's Got Talent, it's the semi-finals, and I'll see you when I see you next. 
The next day I was quite drowsy and fatigued so I was trying to take things as slow as possible. I did end up having a little bit of work to do but it was quite light task thank goodness, nothing that needed a lot of brain power which I definitely didn't have on this day. I spent the majority of the day preparing for Birmingham and packing slowly trying to figure out what to wear and of course with lots of little rest breaks in between. The majority of the day was spent resting as is usually the case when I've got something big coming up but I realised that if I wanted to justify treating myself to an iced coffee in the stage then I should probably make my lunch just keeping it real so here you can make you can see me making a very very beige wrap um, it looked better no it tasted better than it looked thank goodness but I won't be getting my Michelin star anytime soon good morning I am ready to go I've actually got 20 minutes to spare which is nice going I've managed to pace getting ready and have some lie downs which is always ideal. I managed to get an accessible taxi to the station. I've said this before, but it's like winning the lottery in York, getting an accessible taxi. So I'm really pleased about that. My task for this trip is ultimately to create a blog post for Visit Birmingham and a reel for their social media. So that's what I'm gonna be focused on from here on in, but I will vlog when I can. But I'm traveling down today. I'm staying at the McDonald Burlington Hotel in Birmingham, which is only three minutes away from Birmingham New Street, which is fabulous. So it is a flying trip. I wish I had more time there because I know where I'm staying isn't far from the ball ring either and I would have liked to have seen that. It's funny because I, the only time I ever really go to Birmingham is for work. Um, I've never really been for leisure before and this feels like a great opportunity to do that and even though I wish I had longer I think it is going to be really lovely to do the things I'm doing. I feel very, very lucky. I love this part of my job. Just want to quickly jump in with two things while I'm melted into the sofa here. First, everything you're about to see from Birmingham was part of a press trip um, and part of paid work with another organisation. Nothing you're about to see on this vlog is sponsored, but I will just disclose that it was a press trip. Um, so the experiences were gifted, which was just incredible. And secondly, I, I also just feel like I want to caveat that this isn't a normal week. Normally, I wouldn't travel by train this much in one week or have as many out of the house plans as this, especially not at the minute. So. Um, yeah, please don't assume that this is what I do on the regular. On with the vlog. <laughs> God. Why am I whispering? I don't need to whisper anymore. Oh my God, look at this. It's not as pristine as it was a few minutes ago now that I've brought my stuff in but how beautiful is this accessible room this is the burlington hotel it's just across the road from birmingham new street and it's the accessible room i've just checked in i will say it's not the quietest because the trams are just across the road so that's a bit of a challenge and it's always tricky to reflect that in access things like sometimes noise reduction is an access need too but the room itself is absolutely stunning the hotel is so nice and it's been a very poorly trained journey it was a long three and a half hours i was literally hang on let me sit down for the last two hours i was literally like curled up in a ball in my wheelchair because there wasn't a seat for me to sit in which is awful even for short journeys because the back on my wheelchair is quite low so it was really uncomfortable to be seated for long periods of time especially on like a wobbling train as well so i was in my wheelchair i had my legs elevated to try and stop me going dizzy i had my head in my hands and i knew people were looking and i just had to kind of look at them like i, I promise i'm okay i am okay you don't need to seek help oh my gosh it was just it was a rotten journey but now that i'm here i'm so glad that i, that I came because it's beautiful a little nap which was good i didn't actually think that would be possible at one point but i've managed to have a little lay down which is a good thing i'm just getting ready to go out for food i'm glad i put this in my bag because i've looked at the website and it looks a bit fancy it looks absolutely lovely the restaurant but i don't think it would have been cool if i'd rocked up in my dungas so i'm very grateful i took this in now 
So I could have had a plus one for this trip, which would have been amazing, but because it was last minute that it got confirmed, all of my usual plus ones couldn't book annual leave in time. And I don't mind doing this solo. If anything, I actually kind of love it. I like doing it solo. But the one thing that I do like confidence on is going for a meal on my own. That's not really something I'd feel comfortable doing, especially in a place like this. So I was thinking, who can I ask to come with me who lives locally and might be able to enjoy some food with me? And I thought of Alice, who I met last year in Nadex. I don't think she was in my Nadex vlog, but that's when we met for the first time. So she's gonna come with me tonight, which I'm really looking forward to. I'm gonna have a catch up, eat some good food, and hopefully it's gonna be a good time. I know I've just said that about being fancy, but this insulated jacket was gifted from Regatta a while ago and it's an absolute blooming lifesaver. It might not go with my outfit right now, but it just packs down really small, but it genuinely does keep you really warm when you've got it on. So what I tend to do now is just tuck it in the bottom of my wheelchair along with my charger and oh my gosh, it's come in so handy already. I wish I'd bought one about five years ago minimum. <laughs> my brain is absolutely fried but that was so lovely chapter the restaurant is incredible they were so accommodating of dietary requirements and the food was just out of this world it was so good it was so cool to be able to try thing new things or have stuff that i'm not usually able to have because they were so accommodating oh it was so good and it was so nice to have that experience with alice as well this any time i meet up with another person in the disability community especially a freelancer it always feels like a bit of a debrief <laughs> there's always so much to talk about but i've had a really lovely evening i'm very ready for bed now power chairs charging up i've gone and got my soya milk so i can have a cup of tea that's my top tip if you're staying in a hotel and you've got they've got tea bags in the room but they haven't got your milk um if there's a bar or a restaurant just go and say hey would you mind putting me a little bit of um this non-dairy milk in a in a jug i can't do words i should just stop talking you can usually get milk non-dairy milk free of charge to bring back down to your room um for very essential tea making activities I, I need to go i can't brain i'll see you tomorrow <laughs> good morning from birmingham it's friday i've been up a while but i didn't sleep very well so i don't feel fabulous so i was struggling this morning but i've just had such a nice breakfast and can you ever really go wrong with tea and toast i feel a million times better for that i only have a little bit of time this morning but i'm off to think tank which is a really cool science museum i've heard a lot of good things about it hopefully going to get a couple of hours there before i head back and jump on a train home and it is train strikes today so i need you all to cross your fingers even though by the time you're seeing this the thing will have been done but hopefully it's going to go as okay as possible <laughs> hours to get home had a major access fail i could go into it but what's what's the point try not to let it take away from the fact i've had a nice few days it's done with now i'm home although i'm 99 percent sure i just said good night to the bus driver rather than thank you as i got off so there's that so now i'm going to go and have a lie down and probably just take a long hard look at my life and how it came to this hello had a bit of a fail. It is in fact now Wednesday. Things did not quite go to plan. <laughs> Essentially, after I got back from Birmingham, I had a couple of really big deadlines to meet, so everything had to go into that. Um, Monday, I was supposed to be doing a thing with Sky News. Um, one of their cameramen got COVID, so that got cancelled, and we ended up doing that today instead. Something I wish I'd started doing sooner is if I get the opportunity to do stuff like this and people are coming into my flat, 
Um, I know talking about COVID is quite a contentious one because even in the chronic illness community, people are very much at different levels with it. But um, I make decisions on a case by case basis. And for what it's worth, I everyone I work with, I say, would you mind doing a COVID test and letting me and proving that it's negative before you come into my flat? And I'm worried that that would make me seem high maintenance. But every single person has happily done it. And it's just gives me so much peace of mind that I know that no one is coming in while testing positive because the times we're living in that could reasonably still happen and of course that doesn't remove the entire risk and th some of the decisions I make aren't what, what what other people would make but yeah I'm really glad I've implemented that and I'm even more glad that people respect it that's that to me feels like a really big thing yeah definitely not my best weekly vlog ever maybe I'll have another go in a few weeks time but I hope you've enjoyed it nonetheless. Um, thank you for watching. If you've made it this far, that's very, very impressive. Thank you for watching. You can subscribe if you want and I'll see you next time.